Hello and welcome Capricorn. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on. All right, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation. And that is okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. We have the Six of Swords, Temperance, Hangman, and then the Seven of Cups. All right. So Capricorn could be feeling a little bit confused about a love situation. Bottom of the deck, you do have the High Priestess. I have to show you that because um, it, it feels relevant. For some of you, you could be seeking out readings, watching YouTube tarot videos, um, seeking some kind of guidance, asking for signs, whatever the case is, you know, maybe that's what you are doing to kind of, you know, get some answers about this person. Because like I said, it does feel like there's some kind of confusion here with the seven of cups. You're having a hard time either making this decision, making this choice. Perhaps you have other options. Um, with the Ace of Cups, like I said, this is feeling that love. Maybe you've never felt, you know, something this strong before. Um, you know, had a soul connection quite like this. You know, you see the two doves, you know, flying together in the back. Their wings are touching. Um, yeah, I'm just getting with the little plant life growing there. You know, this is all about unconditional love. This is all about, you know, no matter what, I've got your back. I love you. You love me. You know, this is all in your feelings, all in your emotions. Like I said, really feeling that soul bond, that soul tie, that um, soul connection. With the Six of Swords, it does feel like somebody's trying to just kind of like, you know, move forward, um, maybe put the past in the past. Um, could be bringing a little bit of baggage along with them into the situation, so maybe that's what's going on. Um, there could also be some fear involved in this love situation. Um, but this is, this is definitely meeting a soulmate for you here, Capricorn. Um, with the card of Temperance. Again, it's, it still feels like you're kind of working through some issues because, look, she's posing here. She's got one eye open, one eye closed. So, again, she's able to see things, you know, in a balance. She's able to not be blindfolded to the situation but to see what it, you know, for what it is with that one eye open. She's not going to miss anything. Um, even though this little guy is kind of, you know, she just, I'm, <laughs> it's just like she's really trusting her intuition. And then with the high priestess being on the bottom as well, again, I'm just feeling like strong intuition. Like you just, you feel this connection with this person. This could be a twin flame for some of you, but I'm getting soulmate. I'm getting a strong soul connection. Okay. All right. Then we have the moon card. Could be dealing with a water sign because we have the moon. We have the high priestess. Um, and then, you know, of course, ace of cups, seven of cups, and then the hangman. So again, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, getting more Pisces, Cancer. And then we have the Six of Cups yet again, speaking about a soulmate. So, surprise. Okay, so Capricorn, with the moon, again, talking about a little bit of confusion. Perhaps you're hiding some feelings. Perhaps your person is hiding some feelings. Um, again, this is kind of listening to your intuition. For some of you, it feels like you're kind of trying to ignore it or trying to, like, not acknowledge this connection or not acknowledge, like I said, that intuitive feeling, that, um, that pull, you know, to this person. It's like you're just trying to kind of cut it off. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune, this is kind of saying, you know, this is your faith. This is your destiny. This is what's meant to happen. So guess what? When this will turns, you know, you're all in, buddy. So again, with the Six of Cups, um, like I said, you know, there could be some children involved possibly. Um, but, you know, really this is, feels like someone kind of coming in from your past. For some of you, for others of you, again, this is just connecting with that person. You know, for others of you, like I said, with this being a person from your past, this is being really nostalgic. Again, really kind of reminiscing about this connection from your past. Um, wanting this connection, missing the connection. You know, just still feeling it, you know, feeling it very strongly. 
for some of you, it's like you had to move on. Um, perhaps there was some geographical distance between the two of you with the Six of Swords because the Six of uh, Swords is often, you know, depicted on as a person, you know, in a boat carrying the swords. So maybe you had to go overseas. Maybe, you know, again, there's some kind of like travel distance between the two of you to where, you know, maybe that's why the relationship didn't work out. Um, with the Six of Swords, though, clarifying it, we have the Seven of Wands, Strength, and Two of Pentacles. So somebody could have had their guard up, you know, kind of juggling, do I want this? Do I not want this? You know, can it kind of feels like somebody has commitment issues, one foot in, one foot out. Um, again, I keep getting like fear, fear of this connection, um, fear of the intensity of the connection that's kind of frightening you. Um, you know, in Capricorn, I'm, I'm saying that, but that does not have to mean you. That could mean your person. Again, you're going to have to take it how it resonates. But there's a strong, like I said, connection here. With a strength card, you know, this is really talking about letting it all out. I keep getting let it all out. So maybe somebody's withholding their feelings. So maybe that's why there's, you know, the moon card, the seven of cups here. You know, the two of pentacles, the seven of swords, or seven of wands. I don't know why I keep saying swords. Maybe somebody's kind of being a little sneaky about it. But it does feel like somebody is kind of holding back, you know, emotions, holding back their feelings. Um, it does feel like, you know, somebody's about to, like I said, let it loose, let it go. Just, you know, come at you like this is how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, because we have, I'm not going to put that there. It doesn't feel like it goes there. Um, five of wands, it does feel like there's been a struggle. So this could be having something to do with like, you know, outside interference. Maybe this person was in a relationship. Maybe you were in a relationship at the time. Um, it just feels like timing was kind of off is what I keep getting with that five of wands. <clears throat> All right. Temperance. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the queen of cups. And we have the three of pentacles. Okay, so we've got earth and water here. Um, <clears throat> you know, again, this is talking about teamwork. This is talking about a really good collaboration. This is talking about having that balance, though, so that we can make this work. So that way there's, you know, even, um, so that way two pentacles can become one. We can become that main focus, again, that main collab. With the queen of cups, this is feeling very, again, intuitive. Um, you know, very much in your feelings, very, you know, emotional. Um knowing, just feeling this. Like I said, Eight of Pentacles, it just feels like somebody was not putting in the work though. Again, I just feel like it's off balance right now. Something having to do with timing. But it's like this person is definitely missing it. Uh, King of Wands, the Chariot, and the Two of Wands are clarifying the Hanged Man. You know, so the Hanged Man, again, you know, that's just talking about the situation is kind of up in the air. It doesn't feel like something necessarily ended. It just feels like it's on hold. With the King of Wands, this is taking action with the Chariot wanting to move forward. And then with the Two of Wands, you know, again, it's making that decision to do so, making that decision to um, take that action, to move this forward. Like I said, with the Chariot card, Chariot always leads you towards your destiny, you know, to your fate, towards what is meant for you. With the Hangman card, see, I have to show you this because it's really sticking out. See how they're holding the key in their hand? Yeah, you know, their wrist are... Um, locked up, but there's a lock and so are their feet. So it's like they purposely kind of tied themselves up. They purposely lock themselves up. So like I said, it just feels like some kind of fear is keeping this connection from happening, but that's about to go away because this person is about to come in with some communication and letting you know, Hey, you know, I'm still feeling this, like this is really strong and it's not letting me go. All right. So seven of cups, uh, looky there. Surprise, surprise, High Priestess. Once again, the Hanged Man. And then the Four of Swords. So yeah, so again, <laughs> bottom of the deck, the lovers. So again, for some of you, Twin Flame. For others of you, just a very, very strong soul connection here with this person. Um, so with the Seven of Cups, again, this is talking about, you know, having choices, having options, you know, having a little bit of confusion, too, because there are other options, because there are other choices, not knowing what it is that you want at that time. So with the Four of Swords, again, somebody kind of had to pull their energy back because they didn't know what they wanted. So, you know, that caused that, you know, whole cycle of I'm going to start healing. I'm going to start focusing in on me. And once they started doing that, you know, things started to become, you know, more clearer. Um, that confusion started to kind of, you know, fade off. And it's like now I can focus, but this connection is still here. I'm still feeling this person. I'm still feeling this connection. And I still want to reach out. With a hanged man, again, not quite doing so. But you see how that throat chakra is just lit up? Again, withholding communication. Communication is just kind of, you know, up in the air. But it does feel like this person's going to be coming in. 
with the high priestess. Um, I don't know why I keep getting like possibly a text message. Um, you know, email. I don't, I just, yeah, this person's going to be sending in communication and it's really going to shock you. Um, you're going to find it kind of unexpected. Like, you know, okay, this is surprising. Like really, but with the high priestess, again, intuitively, instinctively, like you just know, she's all knowing this person has been kind of keeping something a secret here. Um, but like I said, those secrets are about to be revealed. All right, let's get some romance or not romance. I'm sorry. Angel answer oracles for Capricorn, please. Capricorn, this is a beautiful relationship. Like I said, a very strong soul bond with this person. I don't know why I keep getting two. Maybe somebody is in a relationship already. And that's why I keep getting two. I don't know. Okay. All right. So we have no need to worry. And then bottom of the deck, what caught my eye is success. Okay. So definitely going towards some success, either, either with this um, connection or this is something that you've been working on working towards on your own but there's no need to worry about any of this this is like I said it just feels like timing was kind of off on um, the first go round oh beautiful okay so then we have details details clarity see how that's magnified up there yeah, it feels like you're going to get some clarity to this situation. Like I said, it really kind of feels like, um, and i got to show you the bottom of the deck too after this, but it really does feel like this person um, was kind of hiding their emotions from you, kind of keeping them secret, keeping you in the dark about them. Again, just due to fear, fear of the intensity of the connection, or just kind of that selfish energy of, I don't know what I want yet. You know, so I need to figure this out. And that's not necessarily being selfish, but maybe in your eyes, you kind of seen them as being selfish for needing to kind of take that break, you know, just, you know, being upset, you know, um, because I do feel like somebody is kind of, you know, like saying the other person is selfish. Um, but like I said, it does feel like you're going to be getting some clarity. They're going to be coming back in. They're going to give you, you know, the details are going to let you know what's going on, how they truly feel. You're going to see things from a different perspective, especially with the hangman coming out twice. Now that card on the bottom of the deck is compass so remember like i said it does feel like this person could be um you know at a distance from you or maybe like i said there's some traveling going on or something um but with compass this is finding your way home this is finding where you truly belong so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be at a distance from this person it just means that you're finding your way home you're finding where you belong all right, then you have the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. So again, talking about that healing, talking about, um, you know, what is really meant for you, um, you know, things like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's grab the Law of Attraction Oracle here for Cap Capricorn. All right, so we have Crisis. So restructuring life, blessing within, clearing space, bring solution. See deepest needs and emotions. So tell me that's not beautiful. So it took this storm, it took that tornado, it took this crisis, you know, this person pulling their energy back to really see, you know, for themselves what this connection actually holds. Okay, and I have to show you the bottom. Um, paradigm shift. New experience is integrating now. Materialization, growth, expansion, progression, cycles, and change. Okay, so headed towards some kind of change here. Um, yeah, something good's coming in for you, Capricorn. It feels like this person could kind of come in as quick as a tornado, too. But definitely getting some solutions, definitely getting some clarity. Like I said, finding their way back home is the strongest sentence or phrase that keeps coming out. <clears throat> okay, so we have um, core values. I keep hitting that this person, like I said, is a runner. They could have ran from this connection or somebody here is a runner. So again, take that how it resonates. Um, but we do have core values. So seek partners whose core values align with your own. Meet your tribe at places of interest to you. So again, it does feel like just at this time, this person was not <clears throat> on the same page as you. So, but yeah, but that is what I am getting. Um, it just kind of feels like, I don't know. It, I almost keep getting like, you know, with that runner thing, like I said, that I keep picking up from this, um, from somebody here in this situation, it almost feels like they have a fear of abandonment. So it's like, they're going to leave before they get left. 
So I don't know who that message is for, who that's going to resonate with, but just letting you know that's what I'm picking up. So maybe that's some kind of extra confirmation for you. So. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. So I hope this helps. Um, again, be expecting this person because they're coming in hot and heavy. They're coming in pretty freaking strong because they need you to know how they feel. And they're not going to let this go another day. So, all right. Well, thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, take care.